Patriots vs Dolphins, 3 Keys to the Game, Fun Facts, Prediction. It's the end of November and the Patriots are getting set to play just their second division game of the year. In a weird scheduling quirk, the Patriots will play five of their last six games against the AFC East beginning Sunday afternoon when they host the Dolphins at Gillette Stadium. The Patriots are in the midst of a six-game win streak and playing their best football of the season, while the Dolphins have lost four straight. Miami will be without starting quarterback Jay Cutler, as Matt Moore will get the start, but that may be a positive for the Dolphins as Moore has looked decent in his limited action this season. New England will be without a few of their stars, as Chris Hogan. Marcus Cannon and David Andrews have already been ruled out, while Martella Spennett is doubtful. 26, 20,171 hours 0 minutes p.m., Cubs Patriots minus 16.5, over, under 47.5. Three keys to the game. This is a key every week, but even more so this week against the Dolphins. Miami is known to take a cheap shot or two, so the Patriots need to make sure Ndamukong Sun never gets a clear opening to the Patriots quarterback. Once again the Patriots will be short-handed up front, as Cannon will miss his third straight game and Andrews his second. Ladrian Waddle will fill in for Cannon, while Ted Karras will slide in for Andrews. Both did a terrific job against the Raiders last Sunday. Keep Dolphins receivers in check. Miami receivers Jarvis Landry and Avant Parker have had some success against the Patriots of late. Parker has three games of 100 or more years receiving, and two of those games have come against the Patriots. In Landry's last five games against the Patriots, He's averaged 7.8 catches on 11 targets for 90.6 yards. Stephen Gilmore and Malcolm Butler likely will be tasked with shutting these two players down. Both come into the game playing well, as the Oakland game may have been their best of the year. The one constant in the six-game win streak has been Lewis in the backfield as in each of the six games Lewis has been the Patriots' leading rusher. He's emerged as the lead back in the backfield with Mike Gillisley being inactive each of the last two weeks. Miami's defense is 14th in the NFL when it comes to stopping the run, but has had some rough games of late, including allowing 174 yards on the ground to the Ravens and 294 to the Panthers. With a win, the Patriots would finish the month of November undefeated. It would be the 24th undefeated month for the Patriots since Bill Belichick took over in 2000. The Colts are second during that time with 15 undefeated months. When targeting Brandon Cooks on third down this season, Brady is just 4 for 16 for 79 yards. Since 2001 in the regular season, when scoring first the Patriots are 142-26. Miami has just one rushing touchdown all season, the fewest in the NFL. Of Danny Amendola's 43 receptions, 30% of them, 13, have been for first downs on third down. Prediction Patriots 31, Dolphins 13. This one has the potential to get out of hand with the way both teams are playing. The Patriots have won six straight, while the Dolphins have lost four in a row and are spiraling in the wrong direction. Miami's offense also likely won't be able to keep up with the Patriots, as it is ranked 30th in the league. New England is coming off a 10-day three-city road trip so there's the potential for a let-down game, but we're confident Belichick will not allow this to be the case.